Hello guys, let's do some live trades. Hello my friend, what is going on? Kamlaus over here with another video uh, today. I think being, um, being 28th of December, actually end of, uh, around end of 2021 and kind of different market condition and at least let's see tr uh, and I try the power of this uh, beautiful indicator called gold rain which I use it on daily basis in every single trade I take and it's been great to me so if um, stuff like this trading and uh, great indicators and trading in general interests you please consider subscribing to my channel and activate the bell so each time I make a video you will be the first one to watch and um, you know see what has worked and then see what has not worked to me for me so we're gonna we're gonna rely on one hour time frame and then we're gonna play straight on e every single you know uh, pair and then leave it for a couple of hours and then uh, make the second uh, part of the video and then show it up uh, show it uh, for you so you would see the accuracy so this one AUD USD we have a buy signal and then we're gonna go for it so first of all we're gonna check the momentum and then trend is is uptrend isn't it so we're gonna say uh going long here so we're gonna go long and then actually i'm gonna uh, place it uh inside the mt4 so again i'm not gonna leave let's say i'm not gonna put the stop loss because with the stop loss it's gonna track the video but you would have the idea all we're trying to do is you know checking the accuracy and then later on we will see how much drawdown if we were in drawdown we, we will be getting to so it's not really vital for me to put the stop loss what i'm trying to uh, to do is to see uh, what's the accuracy because earlier this morning uh, one guy asked what's the accuracy really and then i said blah 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 depending on how long you're gonna uh, hold the trade and how wide you're gonna choose your stop loss you know uh, depend and you would get different accuracy as well as what time frame so i'm going to just avoid having a stop loss but then you will see uh, what the stop loss you, you should have had in this case i say okay it could be or over here as my initial as my initial stop loss it could be just below this swing low over here so I would be safe-ish, but then you know it's trading and forex, and we don't really have hundred percent control on the movements and price move. So anyway, I don't want to just talk, and I just want to place the trade. So AUD USD buy. AUD USD buy. Where is it? This one, then we're gonna buy lot size two. So, two buy. I think two is the like the lowest you really can, you know, make something of AUD cat. Let's see what's gonna happen with AUD cat. So, we AUD cat as well. I'm gonna just go because we had a buy signal here and then. Uh, overall trend is up the upward and then we have a green dot everything in the case uh you know buying opportunity for me so i'm gonna just place it here initial stop loss on. remember guys i'm not gonna put actual initial stop loss inside the in the mt4 but then you would have idea just put it over here virtual you see and visual you see where it could be and then how safe would we would be or not i would get as well by you can buy where is it it was here you cut buy buy bye bye remember guys i have two version of the golden this one is mt4 version you see these signals these signals this alerting me each time based on the time frame you define alerting me this is one hour time frame alerting me whether to buy or sell here alerted it like 
at that time that uh, that day on Saturday, that they alerted me to buy here which gone through you see and then here it said sell which is all right almost right till here but you would have uh, to hold it a bit longer yeah so this is mt4 version the other one is uh, trading view version so we go to AUDNZD AUDNZD clearly oh, I had one trade uh, here you see same that's what I'm talking about guys so we've been drawn down you have to be patient and then it's gonna go to your direction so we're gonna get rid of everything here move okay so one hour time frame we had buy signal here days ago and so uh, continuing so based on that we're gonna uh, you know place another buy in line with our main buy signal over here but take the uh, stop us to below this swing low we're here to be the safest so AUD and ZD AUD and ZD buy if you notice all AUD and ZDs are going up so correlated AUD and ZD mm. AUD and ZD over here this version as well shows me it's unaltered AUD and ZD buy and then we go on the other one uh, AUD CHF CHF always has a bit of tweak in it so it's not always correlated with other pairs so uh, to be honest I try to avoid CHF as much as I can but we're gonna rely on uh, just get rid of these just gonna rely on uh, the you know correlation and then say came out uh, um, well we had this sales signal and then I can see a channel is created so I may say it's a bit different with CHF guys you need to really be careful with CHF pairs <laughs> uh, you see I'm kind of stuck now <laughs> whether to rely on this channel over here let's say bounce down it's going to bounce down or carry on going up but based on the correlation we're going to go through again so we have to buy uh, put buy signal over here based on correlation with the other uh, AUD pairs so stop loss will be here because you're going to say our oh, risk management risk management that final risk management term has different definition to everyone to me is just to be honest nonsense because I don't know let's say your surplus would be here and then you say oh no my surplus gonna be 15 because that's how my best management is but then cut down just slightly widen give more space to your damn tray so it goes up <laughs> just you know funny thing anyway AUDCHF we're gonna go to AUDCHF remember that AUDCHF to me is really tricky, but I just place the trade uh, to see what will happen. And then usually avoid AUDCHF pairs. If I find AUDCHF, uh, yeah. So AUDCHF, we see spy over them. So couldn't really get really down, but the buy went up. So overall, I would say is uptrend, and then we're gonna carry on uptrend correlated with the other AUD pairs buy. And I think enough for AUD pairs. But now let me try cat. Uh, or shall I do AUD JPY as well? Let's say AUD JPY. Okay, AUD JPY. So let's get rid of these drawings and then we can see we had a couple of days ago we had a uh, buy signal and overall is on trend and we hadn't had any other signal over here and we're just gonna carry on you know uh, you know buying and then our stop loss if you notice is around initially it's around 30 40 pips on one hour time frame so we're gonna say AUDJPY buy as well 
A U D J P Y. Yeah, bye. What happens here? One minute. Ah, tons of players, guys. Don't know what happened. A U D J P Y. Bye. And now, <coughs> cat JPY. Cat JPY as well, guys. Yeah. So, because we don't have any other signal, we're just gonna rely on what we had. Taking it as continuation of, uh, you know, our trend, which means we have to go long. So, our stop loss should be around here initially. But remember, I don't put the actual stop loss inside every trade on MT4. But you know what I mean, cat JPY buy. Cat JPY, where is it? Yeah, cat JPY buy. And CHF JPY. Again, CHFJPY is kind of, you know, uptrend. And we had buy signal here. We had buy signal here. And then we don't have any sell signal or anything uh, saying otherwise for us, meaning just carry on, you know, buying it. And we're going to cast CHFJPY. CHFJPY. I find it, so it's, it's here, CHM trade buy and buy. If you notice, mo all of these trades so far have been buy. And what else? Cat CHF. Cat CHF is a bit choppy. The earlier trade was in profit and it's reversing back, so I'm gonna just get rid of the drawing. Okay, so here, we could see it's in a, you know, uptrend. And uh, we're gonna place our trade. You see, we have a buy, buy signal here, guys. You see buy signal? But then it's choppy already. So that means we have to have a big, maybe this big stop loss for it. So, can see HF. CHF 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 and then buy okay my favorite pairs great British one pairs and here da, da, da. this I'm gonna get out of all the drawing uh, it's really choppy, we cannot really tell what is going on with the pair, so I could say slightly is going up, but again, it's not 100% certain, but then what we're doing over here is relying on the indicator, so based on the indicator, we had a buy signal over here, slightly gone to uh, draw down and uh, going up to the direction it's saying, so the direction is going up and then you need to buy, and then we're going to place a buy signal, buy trade here, our stop loss matters over here with Great British one pairs, so you should have it as wide as you can, really. So in this case, it's 44 pips as an initial. And Great British one AUD, so I have to go all the way back for Great British one pairs, AUD. Now it's here, so we're gonna buy, place buy. And we're gonna go back to trading view cat now. Cat guys is clearly going up as well as if I s try to find this is all one hour time frame. So days ago we had the spicing on look guys. If you were that patient, that's what I'm saying. Patient gets you tons of fortune, simple as that. So we have to carry on with the direction. Uh, indicator told us and then we have to keep it so 
with great British from cat. I'm gonna go back here, cat by. These days, I notice great British pound pair is getting a lot of, a like great British pound as currency getting a lot of the strength versus the other currencies. And CHF, similar applies for CHF guys. Therefore, I really don't like CHF, but uh, we don't mind it because the indicator is making our work easy. So we have buy signal over here. We have to carry on going with it, even correlated with other. GBP pairs so far we know it is getting a lot of strength so we should buy. JPY and here as well. I earlier put this. I earlier put this uh, trade over here. So uh, to me again, this is continuation of uptrend. So I put a great British one JPY buy trade for this one as well. If I find it, it's here. Great British one JPY buy. So I go back to trading view and ZD. Same applies with NZD guys. If you notice, it's all correlated most of the time. Um, so we're gonna open a buy trade for this one as well. And again, stop loss should be as well as you can guys. And what was NZD? NZD. This is one of the D. And bye. Bye. And good British for your D. Good British for your D. And. Uh, so great British from USD if I find it da, da, da. it's here so we're gonna buy here as well and euro and ZD so with euro and ZD guys what do we have so we have a buy signal here guys, we have a buy signal, it's choppy, but then we have to rely on this beautiful indicator anyway, to find how accurate it's going to be. So I just leave it as it is for my initial stop loss, which is 48 pips, and then I say buy for your NZD. Your NZD buy, where is it? Your NZD buy. and euro chf euro chf you see is sometimes different uh to the other let's say <laughs> pairs let's say in this case um it's it's, a, it's coming down for chf but it was going off for nzd so here we have sell signal I see we have sell signal and then you see overall price is really going down really uh, your CHF and then uh, we had the sell signal generated ages ago so meaning I'm not quite sure about this one your CHF but just assume it's gonna carry on going down relying and the fact we don't have any other signal here remember guys but I say maybe it goes up to have a channel over here channel like this channel like this but then again 
what you're doing is slowly relying on indicator really. So your CHF cell. Your CHF cell. First cell try today. I may be wrong. I should have gone long anyway, but then <laughs> uh, your GVP. Your GP is a bit weird today. Why is showing like this? Uh, your GBP. So we're gonna carry on going short, which we had a sell signal here a few days ago, and we don't have any other signal for us. So we're gonna go short here. Uh, your GBP sell. Your GBP sell. Euro GBP so if I find the pair yes here and then we'll go short sell now that's it and uh euro AUD Euro AUD we had a sell signal eight days ago and we don't have anything here and we don't have anything here meaning yeah we should have continued if you were here or here or here and based on not having anything here again, um, I assume we have to continue. That's why I put sell signal, sell buy, uh, sell, sell trade, your AUD, your AUD, sell, uh, Euro cat so with your cat as well we had this cell signal and came down but it may go up guys so it might go up but again what I'm trying to do in this videos guys showing you the accuracy but again remember this cell signal was generated two days ago so it might be too late but I just place it uh, because we don't have any other signal over here rather than just continuing the trade Eurocad sell uh, Euro JPY Euro JPY uh, so we had buy signal here days ago and we don't have anything over here meaning we should just place the buy trade again and then write the trend. Oh my God, we just uh, use the indicator, what it tells us. You see, a stop loss is so important, how wide you're gonna choose it. I just I just open the trade and then I just leave it as, as it was just, you know, uh, uh, kind of open here. So, your JPY, bye. Your JPY 500. Euro JPY Euro JPY Yeah So we're gonna buy Euro JPY as well Buy uh, Euro USD For I notice your USD pairs are not really my type I usually avoid trading them I just don't like USC pairs to be honest with you um, but then again what we're trying to do is trying the indicator power and then see what it does so we here we have buy signal here we don't have anything single here but if you notice it's in conservation so we shouldn't really trade while it's in conservation really but then I just I just place it and then stop loss wide enough as wide as 30 pips and then euro USD by euro USD it's here it's here euro USD so I'm gonna buy euro USD as well and let's see what will happen with that and NZD USD guys NZD USD again same thing here as well um, so we have a sell signal here let me see what is going on with, with these. So, buy, buy, sell. Uh, 
So we had cell signal here. How didn't we? So with that cell signal, guys, I assume we don't really need to put it anyway. Regardless, we have to follow the indicator anyway. <laughs> it's hard to not following it. And then try to see what else we have, what, else, what other conferences we have. So here we have 30 pips of stop loss. And we're gonna go short for NZUSD. NZUSD. If I find NZUSD. NZDCHF. NZD. NZDUSD. NZDUSD is here. NZDUSD. So we're gonna sell. And NZDCHF. We have a sell signal over here. Actually, we had sell signal over here, so we have to just, uh, you know, write it down. Um, just leave the stop loss as it was 25, or should I just expand all the way here? 33. Let's put it 33. And uh, is it the CHF? If I find it again. Sorry guys, I have tons of pairs, so I have to go through them one by one to find the pair I want. Is it the CHF? here so I'm gonna go short short and there's a decad there's a decad we have a cell signal here so we're gonna actually so we had sell signal over here already had this move and then had this profit but again we have to just assume it's going down because we don't have anything else here remember guys it might change we might, you know, have uh, a buy, buy signal in next hour. We don't know. But then based on what is now, I'm just going to go and then place the trade. So NZDCAD, sell. NZDCAD, sell. NZDCAD, sell. Sell and uh, NZDJPY NZDJPY uh, We had a buy signal here days ago and now it's going up. We don't have any other signal saying otherwise, meaning just carry on, you know, going up. Uh, NZDJPY buy JPY buy. Um, USDJPY, USDJPY also the same stuff. Uh, we had buy signal here days ago. It went it went nice. We don't have any other buy signal or sell signal, meaning continuing of the same trend and same direction. Uh, indicator told us so. USDJPY buy as well. I assume it's all the way here back. USDJPY. Let's see. Um, USDCAD. USDCAD. So let me get rid of these things. USDCAD. If you notice, I have the free version of TradingView, which is absolutely fine. I don't need to pay whatever they ask me for pro version. I don't need it, to be honest. So we have we have a buy signal here and we have to rely on open a buy trade. So buy trade and then I just leave 40 pips uh, stop as it, it was by default open and USD cat buy USD cat buy if I find it again. It's here, USD cap, so we're gonna go buy and go here. 
in the USD and ZD. USD and ZD, we have a buy signal here, guys, similar to USD CAD. Again, this kind of, you know, sounds correlated with the other USD pairs. So we're gonna uh, open the buy trade, leave the stop loss as it was, or maybe slightly take it all, all the way below this swing low and USD and ZD buy. USD and ZD, if I find it again, it should be the other side, the other, the other side, uh, USD and ZD, USD and ZD, you see guys, I'm just honest and simply saying what I do for my trading, simple as that, there is no, you know, formula, there is no uh, magic, there is no, you know, crappy complex stuff, Defined over here. We just use this indicator, and then I personally been amazed and been so 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 satisfied and so so grateful having this indicator in my personal, smashing day-to-day -day trading, or swing trading, or scalping, or whatever style you want to go with. But so what was this? I forgot. Uh, USD and ZD. USD and ZD. I don't know if we have it or it was NZD USD. Let's see. We have USD and ZD as well. I uh, don't think we have. Okay, we don't have it. Ah, we don't have it, so we don't we don't care about that one. And USDCHF, USDCHF. So with USDCHF, let, let me remove this one. USDCHF. So we just had a sell signal. Look at that, guys. We just had a sell signal. Look, this is one hour time frame, so definitely I just go short. So look, look, you see the uh, red arrow, that's it. So I put it here to be safest. And then you can you can try 0, 0, 0 0.01, 0 0.02. I just stick with two as my fixed lot size. USDCHF, obviously it's demo. So um, I do trade my, uh, let's say, challenges the same way I go with. Uh, two lot size, save lot size, USCCHF. So it's not like I'm trading my demo different to whatever else I do. Uh, obviously, if I'm really short in my capital, definitely it goes with like 0 0.01. <laughs> uh, what was it again? USCCHF. If we have it, I don't know if we have it or not. Oh, we have it. So USDCHF, we're gonna go short and sell. And then what else? So two gold. So gold, 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 gold. You see guys, uh, days ago we had the buy signal over here and then we would be in tons of profit guys from 20 seconds of December all the way to here. It would be in tons of profit so we don't have any other uh you know uh, signal here so what's the decision is just carry on riding the trend so a uh, gold buy so i have to go all the way to the left for gold and silver unfortunately i see market uh doesn't have actual nasdaq S with the high speed uh, kind of moving um, of it actually they, they have they call it the same instrument but to me that's different to what you actually would get with the proper you know fast moving uh, Nasdaq otherwise I would place Nasdaq here as well so here we're gonna go long for gold and then the second uh, the next one would be silver and it's the same thing you see we have a buy signal generated days ago we don't have anything else and clearly it's above the moving averages so nothing else is telling us a part of just carry on riding this trend so silver silver i like silver as well but again these two uh, metals are really 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 unreliable guys <laughs> It might be again so inviting trading them, but then uh, you know pre be prepared for you know bad days and you know uh, horrible experiences as well with them.
be prepared if you decide to us 30 add on yeah we have us 30 yeah definitely we have us 30 look days ago we had a buy signal generated over here look amazing profit over here uh so i assume again it might turn back down so but then uh, again what's what was the concept just relying purely on the indicator otherwise you had um you know opposite signal telling you going down or whatever but over here we don't have anything over here but again it might turn down uh next hour or so but again that's just rely on whatever we have us 30 by it's all the way here guys so us 30 my indices are here us 30 us 30 by US 30 by oh I don't know why I cannot buy one minute oh yeah so you have to have just um, you know round loss as you cannot do 1.1 or whatever so that's that's why so one just round round loss as so we do two bye and UK hundred as well is the same ish but it might turn down again guys but then remember the rule we just rely on what we have uh, as the indicator saying so just put it away but again it's very likely to come down guys so that's what i mean for this now based on what i see <laughs> let's see what will happen um uk 100 by as well It's already been long this uh, first section but then that's the point we want to see how reliable this indicator can be our trade is disabled why i don't understand it i don't know why uh for some reason doesn't let me to do it i don't know if that was the uh, indicator uh, it doesn't accept so i don't know why if i have to so many trades probably have so many trades guys so I try another one if I couldn't then yeah, that's it uh what else I can do oh Bitcoin should I do Bitcoin Bitcoin well with Bitcoin guys so we have it's a bit tricky Bitcoin guys mm, I do prefer Ethereum so let's see Ethereum same thing guys same thing what I do say I do say it's gonna go down to this bit so we had sell signal here guys you see sell signal coming down so we're gonna aim for this bit uh, ethereum we're gonna go and then sell ethereum where is ethereum should we if I could place more trades but I don't think I can I think I have to s too many trades let's see if I can Oh, I could. So, uh, yeah, let's see if I can do more. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nasdaq moves so fast with this Nasdaq. I mean, you see, um, you know, price uh, price moves so fast with IC market. What I found is just, a, you know, knack off of it. I don't know what they call it, but they say, oh, it's all uh, US 100 cash. But it's not. To me, that's different, guys. I don't know how you're going to get it. Uh, just get it but to me nasdaq this nasdaq is different to what you get as us 100 but us 100 yeah that's how i found guys that's it so i'm just gonna run on these for a couple of hours and then see what will happen so at the moment one two three four five six seven eight nine you count it guys i don't want to count it but then you see at the moment all these trades uh uh with you know actually fixed loss size of two you know got us in floating plus or floating almost one two of uh, that's how we see it so guys i'm gonna pause this video for a couple of hours and then come back to you with the results so wait for it
Hello guys, how is going on? Uh, we are back uh, around more than, let's say, 16, 17 hours later. Just wanted to leave enough time uh, for the trade so we would have an idea if, 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 if it was a kind of day trader or if it was a swing trading kind of style, uh, what would be the conclusion? Uh, so just in half, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel, activate the bell. So each time I share a video and update like this, you will uh, be the first one to find out about whatever I use in my day to day, uh, especially trading. And then uh, you'll be, uh, you know, benefited, you know, having, having it, uh, at your pers uh, arsenal. So. Uh, if you notice, I have multiple uh, MT4. I'm not going to go because one of them is my challenge, so it's going to be over there. Obviously, it's my uh, second phase of my Forex ones. But uh, so we're going to go and then check. Let me see what is going on over here. Uh, so uh, we're going to check uh, the trades. So let's see over here what we done. Uh, we solely, uh, you know, relied on, relied on the indicator guys here. So on uh, AUDUSD, we said we're going to buy. So let me see if we have buy trade AUDUSD. So AUDUSD is 175, 175. You see the MT4 version also, you know, gave me tons of trades to place. This is one hour time frame. You can change the time frame to 30 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour, two hours, four hours, six hours daily. Based on that, accordingly, whenever it sees an opportunity, it will alert and notify you so you can just right away place a trade inside your MT4 in environment. Yeah, so the first one is right, uh, you know, crack on that one. So if I go here, AUDUSD, we said we're gonna buy. Uh, I think it's that this one, this one. It's not this one. I opened that trade for something else. So it's this one. Yesterday, yeah, ten o'clock. So if I drag this all the way, it's here. So it's all in uh, 175. So this was right. And AUD cut. So remember, uh, we opened the trade around the uh, uh, morning time yesterday. So this one is all, uh, also in profit. Um, I don't need to go to MT4, but I go uh, just for sake of going, uh, showing it to you. So AUD cat, yeah, two hundred three. So two trades, right? And let's see. I just go through the you know uh, order over here. I think this one uh, it seems to be in you know loss, but then we don't know because it might need more time to go you know upward because you see uh, price kind of bounce on this kind of you know line showing us into the tendency going upward but then we, we don't know but that's same uh, at this moment of time we're going to call it you know loss floating loss so this one is this one um aud what one aud this one aud nzd so aud nzd loss aud chf so guys I, I don't want to you know say oh this this is like how many uh, wins how many losses i just wanted to show you what if you put it in one hour time frame and then let it run for 16 hours, that would be the, the conclusion. Obviously, some trades uh, again uh, you would you know you would be fine over here and then would take uh, take some profits over here if you were happy with I don't know uh, how many pips maybe 20 pips or no like 10 pips or nine pips but then you you try to you know be greedy and then try to you know catch more and uh, you would have more risk to you know get. So this one we call it as well as uh, you know loss uh, CHF, which is minus two hundred seven. Uh, the other one is AUD JPY. So AUD JPY, you see guys, it's not this one, guys. It's not this one. It's this one. So again, twenty A's uh, around eleven, and I'm gonna drag this all the way to right. So we will see it's in our green area, which is our beautiful profit area. And uh, I think I think I slightly touched the uh, you know stop loss, but our stop loss is 35. So again, I told you I don't put any stop loss. That's the reason, guys, because we know based on the indicator we have, we know price is gonna go up. So why 
you would put let's say 35 or 30 or some people just go with 10 uh, stop loss like 10 pips of stop loss that's absolutely wrong that's why i don't have any stop loss in my trading guys okay uh that's how i manage my you know risk that's how i manage uh, how i manage to you know just be profitable uh most of the time not all the time but most of the time it's trading so you're not going to control it 100 uh, percent but you could do tricks which market makers do against you so you you have to you know avoid it you have to you know kind of you know neutralize it how to me is about not having a stop loss at all if you're certain certain enough because you see it was in drawdown for a while for a while and then you see a one hour time frame seriously this uh is a big deal uh, we have a green dot so it's it's going to go up and then came up and then AUDJPY is in profit let's see so I think it's 300 AUDJPY AUDJPY no 170 or something these numbers are uh, don't matter guys so don't look at the profit look at the accuracy of the indicator guys that's that that's the uh, you know point of having this video so I'm not going to drag this video by talking and talking just wanted to show you the conclusion over here cat JPY cat JPY again guys this I didn't put any stop loss actually inside the MT4, so I don't want to repeat this again. But then you see, being uh, in drawdown for a while, but now he's in profit. Uh, catch JPY. So we're gonna, I don't know how we're going to get it, get it, but to me, this is just an amazing piece of indicator. Helps me a lot. Catch JPY. 3, 8, 40. 40. Uh, so $40 for that one. CHF JPY. Let's see CHF JPY. Okay. Here again, guys. So... Um, uh, you have to be extremely, you know, patient. The amount of, uh, you know, patience you need in order to be successful in trading, I cannot impress enough. To be honest with you, I just try my all my best, but you have to just be crazy, insane, uh, insanely and crazy uh, patient. You see, guys, uh, how beautiful we we cut 52 pips over here, but this at the moment is you know slightly lower, which is fine. So. CHF JPY, we cracked on again. CHF JPY, good. Where is it? CHF, CHF JPY, it should be 600, almost 600. Next one. Uh, CAT CHF, sorry. Uh, my bad, yeah. So we, we lost on this one, guys. CAT CHF. My bad, guys. Uh, CAT CHF, and the next one would be. Great British one, you guys. Look at these beautiful Great British one pairs. So, absolutely in 50. So we were in 50 pips, but then it's uh, it's down now. Uh, 50 pips, Great British one, AUD. 250. And Great British one, cat. Look at that beautiful thing, guys. Look at that. So. We already cut 72 pips uh we had obviously by by three o'clock it was uh, around 72 but now it's lower obviously by the same profit so great british one cat and 554 and let's go to great british one chf Let's see what we have over here. Yeah, so we already cut 23 pips once here and then went in drawdown and then again almost here to 20 pips here twice. So it should be enough. I mean, uh, 20 pips is better than nothing in like in this, you know, you know, much riskier uh, market condition at the end of the year. To be honest with you, I'd be more than happy to catch 20 pips at time with every trade I have than uh, losing trade or not having anything really or just be scared and afraid to place a trade because it's holiday yeah so I, I would take it I would be happy with that but this, at this moment of time it's in drawdown because it's just in drawdown but uh, we got 20 pips twice so I would call this as a win trade what was it again great British CHF so I don't need to go to the you know actual trade to show you what's what's what because it's in drawdown anyway so greater british one jpy i just love how greater british one pairs turn out and work 
So I think which one was I think this this one. So it's this one, and for this one we cut we cut around 50 pips. So we cut around 50. So I'm gonna take it back. Yeah. So on this one, Great British one JP, we cut 50 pips. Let's see what is going on here. So it's almost 600. Uh, what's the next one? Great British one NZD. So, Great British one NZD, guys, you see how many pips we could catch. 30 pips, guys. I'd be more than happy with 30 pips. Why not? I told you, look how uh, choppy the cantle sticks and the whole uh, it looks like. So, you could tell there is no, not enough liquidity, you know, pushing the price either upside or downside. So, you have to be really careful by choosing the right amount of, you know, position size and stuff and the way we trade. Uh, Shall I show NZD as well? Yeah. Great British NZD. Well, it's in drawdown now, but we we managed to get 30 pips tons of times. So nine minus 90. Again, I call this a win trade as well. Look, how many times we catch 30? One here, one here, one here. So USD. Beautiful guys, beautiful. Oh. So we just had the buy signal, so that means uh, just expect way more to catch. So at this moment we're 44, but now it's around I don't know 20 pips or something, but in profit, Great British Pound USD. Three hundred fifty. And what else we have? So I'm gonna go through Euro and ZD, Euro and ZD. So your NZD guys, we could catch 16 pips three times. Yeah, you have to be smart and flexible with what market can get you. Look, it's been almost in range, guys. You see, even in range, uh, you could you know catch something. But 16 pips better than nothing, better than loss. Uh, yeah, at the moment, at this moment, is in drawdown, so I don't need to go to uh, you know. Um, MT4 showing its drawdown. No, not necessary. Over here, Euro CHF. We're in uh, profit, and then we could catch what? At some point, we were in 20 pips. Uh, Euro GBP. So, guys, this again. Oh, I have to take this back. Uh, this was like these trades were placed around 16 hours ago, guys. Uh, on this one, Euro GBP, what was the. Lowest, we uh, we could catch 18 and close it. Remember, market condition is just not not in a in uh, in a good condition really, and that's why you have to really be happy with whatever market gives you. So whether it's 15 pips, 16 pips, 10 pips, 5 pips, whatever. And Euro AD. Euro AD again. We we cut uh, I think 15 pips or something. Oh, 30 pips twice. 30 pips twice and then obviously this is it looks like you know double bottom to me so it should go up so we could get out from uh, from this trade either here or here so i call this a win as well uh obviously with 33 pips uh eurocad so eurocad okay so eurocad again same thing applies over here again you so uh you see it's just emotion uh and mentally uh, you know, saying whether, okay, I'd be happy with 30 pips, bang on. I'm going to get off the, this trade because, look, this is not going to continue going down forever, guys. Uh, neither is going to go carry on going up forever. So you have to just get in, be happy with whatever you make, 10 pips, 20 pips, and then get out. That's the whole thing. Get in, get out. But just I wanted to leave it for, you know, hours and hours to see what could happen, like let's say. Let's say we could see over here, came here and then went up, been in drawdown over here, came, you know, slightly uh, consolidated here and then came down again for the, to the same uh, zone. Uh, yeah, so I call this as well a win, regardless of being in drawdown now, which, uh, again, you have to really know when to get out. So we have to have goal, 20 pips, 30 pips, minimum. If it, you know... If it's gonna decrease, be decreased, uh, 
you see if, uh, you know market is you know changing the direction then get out as soon as you can euro jpy euro jpy guys look again we've been in drawdown four hours i could say maybe whole yesterday or something and then uh, we started coming up and then it's, it seems going up euro jpy and uh, i don't need to you know show you the trades on uh, mt4 do i ah euro jpy just for sake of showing it euro jpy uh euro jpy 380 and the rest of trades as well because there are too many trades guys i don't want this video to be too long it's already long euro usd let's see what's going on with euro usd you see the reason i'm saying don't have a stop loss here you are okay so for 30 pips you're gonna sacrifice uh not getting that much i don't know just don't have uh, i won't have stop loss but anyway i just call this just loss as well so let's call this loss as well proper loss uh euro usd so this one was euro usd nzd usd nzd usd again we've been in profit for maybe whole yesterday 23 pips Again, be happy with 23 pips and then get out the market as soon as you can. And uh, NZD CH, CHF, again, we've been in profit for a couple of hours, if not, if not whole yesterday. And at some point we were in 18 pips, get out. NZD CAT. NZD again, again, we were in profit for 18 pips for a couple of hours and stuff and we should have come out and nzd jpy nzd jpy we were in you know drop down for a while what drop down we were in uh, almost 33 pips and then changed back came up and then we're in profit now nzd jpy usd jpy uh usd jpy we were in trial down. i could say maybe whole yesterday plus some couple of hours today and now back to profit now we were at some at, we were in an almost 18 pips but now we're down to maybe 10 pips seven profit and usd cat again guys i'm showing this to sh to tell you and then actually show you the power of this indicator and uh, 2036 while i'm talking 36 uh, you know pips uh we gained at some point yesterday a trading usd cat using this beautiful indicator uh which uh, which link to it would be in the description so you can check it out and let's see the rest of trades guys usd and zd we got tons of trades i have to go through them okay here again guys we were we, we definitely would be happy with 48 pips guys god damn 48 pips what do you want and this uh you know um no trading time of year kind of uh, market condition guys you shouldn't really trade but then if you decide to trade like me trying to pass my second phase you should take it easy with your lot sizes at least i, I call that like risk management not just having tight stop loss and then oh this and that and then ending up you know uh, winning only three trades and then uh, losing 15 trades and try to drag the winning trades and market is not gonna give you the chance to drag your trades you see that's what i'm saying guys you better to um, win more of tr your trades by not having a stop loss or uh, way wider stop loss than trying to hope market gives you you know um, the chance to drag your just a few winning trades if you were gonna go with the traditional risk management kind of you know bs all these youtubers and you know uh, these traders say my risk management what do you mean by risk management if you cannot be profitable most of the time what do you say what do you what are you doing huh like i don't know how, how you how you leave you try to sell courses and stuff guys come on man um that's a real deal guys don't have a stop loss i'm talking to you i'm, I'm i mean it guys have one trade at at, uh, at time open mind your uh, position size and then go ahead especially if you uh, use this indicator you're gonna be smashing it guys i'm telling you i'm showing the proof guys okay this is the this is the worst market condition we could be in okay 
uh, it's 29th of December, so everyone tells you don't trade, but I'm, tra uh, I'm, I'm doing it. Actually, I do I'm doing my challenge as well. So this is, this is my challenge, uh, my second uh, phase of my challenge, if you see down there uh, for my, uh, my uh, Forex funds. Yeah, if you be coaches, like be careful uh, for, with your, let's say, uh, main thing to me is lot size, guys. That's how I trade. And then, I don't know, just like the way I trade, guys. Ha anyone has some strategy and the way they trade, okay? The way I trade is amazing, I like it, and then I, I stick to it forever. But some of these gurus tell you, oh, I have calculated this, calculated that, and then you're going to end up, you know, Placing a trade is going to consume you two hours. Oh, you're going to calculate this. Oh, you're going to calculate that. And you try to see oh, what this and, and no, use this indicator. Be, uh, you know, uh, having a fixed lot size and that's it. Don't take it hard. I'm telling you, look, I'm not telling this indicator is doing great job. I mean, uh, he's winning all the time, but he's doing great job for sure for me. Look, how many wins we had and then how many losses we had. So I call this as well, win, because 48. God damn, you have to get out at some point. Here, 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 here. Get out. You're not going to just stay, stick around again. I told you it's not going to carry on going up. It's not going to carry on uh, going down forever. So you have to get out at some point. Uh, USD NZD. We check that. USD CHF. Look at this, guys. Okay. If I would have a stop loss. Here you are. Stop loss. Bang. Get out. But then, you know, overall price is going down. Look. It's just clear, guys. Price is going to hitting down. So, price is hitting down. We have this indicator telling us we were over here, guys. We were over here. Look, sell. Ah, look, did I, was I, so was I right to put all my trust in this indicator and just go short with not, without having a stop loss or not? Yes, hell I was. So, I didn't have a stop loss over here like all these uh, losing traders do. Because they're following these gurus on YouTube or have a stop loss. I don't. Uh, well, I trusted the indicator. I didn't mind. All yesterday we were in, you know, drawdown. Look, drawdown of almost 33 pips. Look, 33 pips. 36, 7, 8, whatever. It doesn't matter. But then at some point we could, you know, make 37 pips and return. And it seems to go carry on going down. Yeah, so I call this win as well. USCCHF. Win as well in my style. It might not be the same in your style because unfortunately you've been following these gurus on YouTube telling you having a stop loss. I'm not going to have a stop loss. Well, how I do stop it, if I say, okay, after I have a kind of you know, dimension in my head. I say, okay, this is my highest point. If it's going to go above, above this one, I'm going to close it manually myself. Going to, let's say, going to MT4, let's say MT4, and then close the, close the trade like this. That's, that's how I stop my, uh, you know, trade. I'm not going to define an issue of stop loss, really, because I know how, uh, you know, tricky market makers are trying to, you know, rob my money or, you know, stuff like this. No, I had enough. But okay, uh, let's, uh, you know, face the reality over here. So gold, guys, gold. Gold is just absolutely different. So definitely this is lost, guys. Definitely this is lost again. How is lost, guys? This is one hour time frame. What I told you. We had buy signal over it ages ago. So this got me, look, this got me, look, uh, is it, so I don't know if it's 200 or 2000 pips, whatever. So that, that's what, let's let that one minute on. I'm going to just be precise and then correct telling you what this indicator had done prior to this trade. So this indicator already got me 2,081 pips on gold. So what I'm going to do, I don't expect to just having it, you know, carrying on again, the same concept. You're not going to have the trade, you know, uh, market and trend going on forever. No, the same direction. At some point it's going to break and then uh, shift. Look, it shifted. But then what we said, okay, we're going to assume it's going to go up. So I wasn't sure. So I'm not going to say, okay, this was fault of indicator. Okay. Don't take it that way. Okay. So I just wanted to correct uh, what was about this one. But then over here said, sell it. Did it go? Yeah. 
beautiful but i didn't uh, you know i didn't check it so i don't have time to check and uh, you know charts 24 7 guys but look if i would have gotten over here, here i could catch more short here short look thousand five hundred ninety or whatever yeah that's it's amazing this indicator is just amazing guys over here go up go up yeah simple as that so uh this was absolutely my fault was an indicator fault because prior gave me tons of uh, you know perfect look go along here go along go along so obviously i kind of you know um you know got this and here yeah guys so this indicator is just a charm and diamond for me i don't know who whoever says what but then to me it's just working amazingly here as well guys already got me what again this is kind of weird telling what how many pips on gold and silver so if i if i'm right it's 251 here so or if it's not 25 anyway i would say it's 251 pips on silver as well so we got that right as well and um, us 30 i don't know if i have used us 30 yeah so us 30 just kind of weird and we're on profit but i don't know if i put it in place or like if i put this actual trade inside mt4 or not but we're in profit anyway it doesn't matter if you put it in mt4 or not here as well we're in profit uk 100 and then i didn't put anything for bitcoin but i did put for um ethereum look at this guys it works great for uh, cryptos as well so we're in profit i don't know how like how many pips i don't know all i know and can show is whether in profit whether it was right or no i'm not going to put any percentage of you know how correct and accurate this is look at the nasdaq guys again um our time frame is one hour time frame okay so if i go back here you can see days ago we had a buy signal over here on nasdaq guys nasdaq is just the craziest you know pair i ever seen and in the summer i ever seen to trade look how many i don't know how i can you know just read it out for you like kind of price movement base unique or whatever that's what it could get me if I was following the indicator days ago on one hour time frame. That to me is like thousands of thousands of thousands of thousands. If, uh, if I had at, at least two lot size or three lot size uh, of profit. Yeah. So that was about it, guys. And then let, let me go back to MT4. Yeah. So again, this was clearly my fault and uh, rest of them as well um some of them i said well because of this we had to get out of the trade asap so i don't know you're gonna call it 90 percent or 80 percent on this indicator is just amazing guys this indicator is amazing and then i will use it for every single trade that you have okay guys so if you want to you know get your hands over this uh, beautiful indicator the link for it would be in this in the this description and then just um Give me your opinion or what you think of this indicator uh, in this as the worst uh, you know market condition as well because yesterday and the day before um, were just people around the world you know trying to you know not trade and you know they're just with uh, you know holiday in mind weren't really into trade that caused less liquidity to the market and uh, that's why i was really careful about my uh, you know last side not in any you know having it the the way i normally do because i go with big loss sizes on daily basis on normal days i mean normal uh, time of year but this like uh, holiday time i just take it easy uh with the loss size i know and just try to kind of scalp yeah guys so if you want to get it the link would be in the description subscribe to my channel activate the bell each time i share a video like this you'll be the first one to watch and then uh, benefit watching it actually and then give me your opinion give me your idea and then let me see, uh, see what you think of this have a nice time i will see you next month bye